Good morning. So some of my students have been asking me to put together just a little video with regard to how we go about comparing data. So if you're given a GCSE question or an AS paper or an A2 paper, how do you actually get the marks which are allocated for comparing data? Because what you will find is that the majority of candidates slip into the problem of simply describing the data and do not actually compare the data. So the data behind me, this is taken from a very recent OCR paper and it's the International Board paper which was done maybe two months ago, something like that. And I've been using this just by way of practice for my own students and one of the questions presents this set of data and for four marks the candidates are asked to quote unquote compare the data. Now in many instances what my students have done and probably what might be your first instinct also is they have simply described the data set for food in this case from 2000 to 2013 and then the tropical beverages from 2000 to 2013. But that, ladies and gentlemen, does not get you any marks whatsoever. First thing to note on this one, of course, is that this is index numbers. <clears throat> so we're presented with a very large number of index numbers. Do make sure that you know what an index number is and how to interpret it. If you don't, then I suggest that you go to one of my previous videos. Uh, um, you can search for that. Just search for index numbers. i will bring it up for you. But obviously here we're told in this question, you might not be able to see it on the camera, but 2000 is the base year. You know that anyway because the value is 100. And so the prices are being expressed as a percentage change from 2000 through to 2013. So a number of candidates simply said things along the lines of, well, Food prices increased over the period 2000 to 2013, as you can see they did, from an index of 100 to 255. Tropical beverages also increased from 100 to 174. Now, whilst that is factually correct, there is no comparison there, because in order to get the comparative mark, you would need to say, for example, that food prices rose more than tropical beverage prices because the index has gone to 255 here whereas the index for tropical beverages only goes to 174 so if you do all of that work but you just do not include a simple little phrase such as rose more then you will not get the comparative mark which is allocated for that question so that you know there's a very useful little phrase rose by more okay Another thing that you can see from this data set is that they both reached the same peak. Okay, so some of my candidates said that food beverage prices reached a peak of 270 in 2012, and then in the next sentence they said tropical beverage prices reached the peak in 2011. Same value. However, if you do not include, again, some comparative statement there by saying something along the lines of, well, they both reached the same, rather than just saying uh, food prices reached a peak of 270, tropical beverages prices reached a peak of 270, you do, again, you do not get the comparative marks. Okay, next point. Some candidates commented on the relative fluctuations of the data. So you can see here... If you study this quite closely, you can see that tropical beverages showed a much greater fluctuation than food prices. Now again, it's not sufficient to say something along the lines of um, both fluctuated or something like that. You need to say that, and the key word and the key comparator here is that the tropical beverage prices showed the quote-unquote the greater fluctuations relative to food and again once we are starting to compare it to the other data set then we're getting the comparative marks you can see also from the data that there was a notable fall for example um, when we look at tropical beverages so from 2011 we go 270 then 212 
then 174. So quite significant falls in the tropical beverage prices as percentage changes. If you go to the same period for food, again, there's a, a, there is a fall from 270 to 255, but obviously that is much less significant than 270 to 174. So once again, it is not sufficient to simply say food tropical prices fell by such and such, food prices fell by such and such, unless you make that comparative statement by saying that there was a very significant and notable fall for tropical beverages whereas the food prices fell by only quite an insignificant amount. Again, you're not making the comparison unless you say that, and so you wouldn't get the comparative marks. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you go about comparing data. You must reference, really, in your answer, for each mark, you must reference both sides of the data and use those comparative terms. Now, in the comparative terms we're using here, we're referring a lot to more than, but of course, you could, if, if the data permits, then it's phrases such as less than, uh, both reach the same, greater fluctuations relative to, um, notable falls and rises, this type of thing. These are all comparative statements, and these will get you the comparative marks. But if you simply just say, the, this food prices go up, tropical beverage prices go up, there's no comparative statement there, so you don't get the marks. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you the very best of luck in the future with the compare questions.